The frontrunner to be Thailand's next Prime Minister, Peter Lim Joran Rat, says he has enough support to be voted in for this top job. CNA's success Samvat examines whether his confidence is warranted. It's less than one week until Thailand's parliament convenes for the first time ever since the opposition move for party has won the most seats in the May 14th election. And yet we still have no clarity whether or not they will form the next government or not. More forward leader Peter Limterenrat led his 150 MPs to report themselves to parliament on Tuesday to pick up their paperwork and formally become lawmakers. It's a show of force and also yet again a stake of claim for Mr. Peter to form the next government and become the next Prime Minister of Thailand. But things are still quite uncertain. While Peter's eight-party coalition has a comfortable majority in parliament itself, the Prime Minister is not only chosen by the 500 MPs, the 250 senators of the upper house appointed by the previous military government also have a vote. So he needs to convince more than 64 rival MPs or senators to confirm him as Prime Minister in a joint assembly. CNA understands that talks between the Move Forward Party and the Senators have been ongoing in the past couple of weeks. That also explains why Peter appeared confident that enough Senators would back his coalition. However, there is no certainty whether or not this confidence will actually result in enough support during the PM vote. It wouldn't be the first time in Thai politics where reassurances have been taken back and promises broken. What we do know for certain is that the senators themselves are very unlikely to vote all the same. There are some senators that have voiced support to whichever party has gained the most seats. There are some other senators that have been vocally against the liberal progressive agenda of the move forward party. But it is also the truth is that the majority of senators are keeping very quiet, so we don't know where they stand. One issue that is often cited as a major hurdle towards move forwards and Mr. Peter's ambitions is the stated plan to amend, not abolish, the controversial Les Majest law, which punishes criticism and insult of the monarchy with up to 15 years in prison per offence. The move forward party has made the topic a major campaign talking point, something unthinkable not too long ago, given how revered the monarchy is officially in Thailand. Mr. Peter has criticized the use of the Les Majest law, saying that it's being used against the opponents of the current outgoing government and that it also stifles free speech in Thailand. Mufort's adversaries often conflate being anti-Les Majest with outright being anti-monarchy, something the party has repeatedly denied. Parliament will be opened by the king on next Monday and a day later it will vote on a new House Speaker, which by the way is also a bone of contention among the parties in the eight-party coalition. And the new House Speaker will then set the date for the Prime Minister's vote. Until then, there's still a lot of speculation and a lot of uncertainty about who will form Thailand's next government. Saksit Sae Sombat, CNA Bangkok.